feel like I need like some kind of fancy accent to deal with the mess that is this room right now. <laughs> Guys, why is this part of my life? My friend told me, she's like, Lauren, you have too much of an addiction for projects. No more projects. I think she's right. No more projects. Why do I like projects? I'm not so sure. Hey, Young, how are you? How are you? I'm a mess. I'm just here. Hello and welcome, all you random people who are tuning in to the mess that is my room right now. Good evening. Oh, wait, hold on. Yes, yeah, somebody said, Lauren, can you come back and clean your room again? And I said, oh my God, I would love to clean my room with you guys. <laughs> I was like, yes, that's exactly what needs to be done. I have so much unpacking to do. It is very intense. Hello, good evening, good afternoon. What time is it? What country are you all in? Are you all in America with me? Who is in America? Raise your hand. Are you in the USA? Um... I'm just here. What's up, Jim? Thank you for being a supporter. I'm, um, hopefully my sound on my phone is doing okay. Yes, that's the mess that I have to clean, guys. You're so gorgeous, but is my mess as gorgeous as I am? Are you, like, are you, like, in awe with the amount of mess that there is here? Somebody said something dish? I don't know. It's literally almost midnight, and I have school tomorrow morning. Oh, no! Go to bed, Mackenzie! Don't stay up. Later. Later. What do you think of that filter? I don't think so. This is kind of nice. It's a nice color. You look great, Lauren. Thank you, you know. Thank you. What is this one? Ooh, that was too much. Do you like my nose ring? What are your thoughts? Willow! How are you, Willow? What's going on? I'm just in my room. This is a nice one. This is a good filter for my face. You all like me. Hey, Lauren. What's up? Hello. Patricia, hi, what's up Australia? So um, I'm back in my old bedroom, my childhood bedroom that has become um, basically a, a giant closet for all of the stuff that gets left here. And your sound is good, thank God, Trina. I walked my dog, I was uh, doing a live stream. These are old earrings, I got them at the dollar store. I walked my, my dog in the rain and when I did that, the speaker just made the weirdest noise Mahakita! I want to go to the Philippines and go to the beach, guys. That's what I want right now. There's nothing more in the world that I want than to go to the beach in the Philippines. You look so pretty. Why, thank you, Justin. It's all the lasagna I've been eating, you know? Um, I'm good. How are you? Did you get jet lag? Uh, Willow, I have the worst jet lag I've ever had in my life. I don't know what I've done differently this trip. Um... I went to bed, I mean, I've been going to bed, trying to go to bed early, but I just end up tossing and turning in my bed, being incredibly lonely. I'm just like incredibly lonely. I'm like, I miss my house. And then when I'm here, it's like the opposite. I'm like, I miss my parents. I'm so confused. Justin said, are you single? I am, but you know what? I'm never single for long, I feel like. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll find somebody. Uh, oh, thank you. You're sweet, Mackenzie. You're very sweet. Um, I don't know, guys. Being single is a state of mind. Uh, right now, I'm working on myself. I feel like it's very important to do that. And, you know, uh, just trying to organize my life right now. Very excited. I'm doing a lot of photo shoots. Um, trying to do... I have a lot of uh, acting things I have to get done with. But the thing is, it's like super late. I've, I've been going to bed late because I'm on this weird upside down schedule. I'm in the upside down world. And I'm just like, my old bedroom, this is my old bedroom um, from when I grew up. And I have so much, so much stuff here. I went to this thrift stores and I got this. I mean, all this stuff has to go back to LA eventually. I'm excited to go home for Thanksgiving. I know, well, that's why I came home. And, um, well, that, George got an acting job. Very excited about how's your mom and dad? They're good, Darlene. They're so good. It's just so weird. Um, so I had George booked this job and we had to get it, we all had to get COVID tests because my parents are going to be in it. Um, I can't really talk about it until it happens. I hate like jinxing things, but we're supposed to shoot Friday. But we had uh people come here to give us a COVID test, and I don't know if you guys have gotten it yet. 
Um, my parents were rock stars. I videoed them. I'm laughing. I'm thinking like, oh, I'm going to be the strong one. My parents were like so strong. And then they got to me and I'm like, oh my God, stop. It hurts so bad. It just, it didn't really hurt. It just felt like something was inside my nose tickling it. I couldn't take it. I hated it. I was just like, I stopped in the middle of it and the guy was like, we're almost done. Come on. You can do this. I love you too, David. It was, it was not... That was probably the worst part of everything that's happened. Um, and yeah, Darlene, I'm just trying to trying to figure out. So apparently now, guys, I don't know if you guys tuned in yesterday to hear of my, my, my California trip was, I mean, I got used to California. California is kind of a lonely place that you have to get used to. And I finally got used to it. Um, but as I was leaving, basically, like, my pool started shooting out water. And um, I have all these fixes that need to be done on the pool. And um, now they think the pool is leaking. So yeah, uh, the pool company thinks there's a underground link of my pool. So that's a thing, underground pool le leak. Um, it's just like more and more money. Buying a house, guys, has just been the biggest learning experience. And I just want to cry about it every day. What are you doing now? Well, Racha, I, um, when I left to go back to LA, I left my room in shambles. And by shambles, I mean, I went to too many thrift stores. I bought too many cute things. Darlene, you're here so you can see some of the stuff I haven't put away yet. So I'm excited because I feel like you can appreciate this clothes, even though I don't really need it, but I had to get it. Like this was a dollar. Yes, daddy. What? He's looking for me now, or are you guys coming up? Are you guys coming up? I mean, is he str is he crying? No, you don't bring him. I gotta pet. I gotta carry the dog upstairs. I don't want my dad carrying my dog. George is <laughs> George has an acting job. <laughs> Isn't that funny? My dog. <laughs> I don't have acting jobs. George does. Oh, I miss California. Okay, hold on, guys. I got to carry my dog up the steps. I'm sorry. Hey, Paulina, how are you doing? I just got to get my dog. Hold on. Dog! Where is he? George, where are you? Georgie, come here, baby. Oh, my little baby. Come here, baby. Oh, you want to come with me? Okay. I love you so much. My dog, guys, cannot be without me. He's so cute. He was looking for me. Sorry, it's really dark here. They're like, what are you all staring at? I love this lady. Thank you. That's very sweet of you guys. Very, very sweet. Oh my goodness. You have so much drama. Well, guys, this is what I get. Like, I basically bought a house that I couldn't afford. It's too big. And it, there's no need for it, too. Everyone, everyone who asked me, they're like, why would you buy... As a single woman, why would you buy a five-bedroom house? I'm like, because I want a husband. So I was just like, I'll get the house myself. <laughs> Guys, I learned very quickly it doesn't work like that. I was like, the law of attraction. If I get the house, I'll find the husband. Like, the, the house is the hard thing, right? It's a really hard thing. Um, but yeah. So now I have this house. I think I'm going to be the cat lady. That's what I've decided. We'll see. I don't know. I'm very picky. And I can't do it anymore. I've decided, guys, I am the type of person that likes a project with guys, and I always end up making them better. I was thinking about all of my ex-boyfriends, and the ones I broke up with were not, like, following my project. It's really weird. I think that I definitely need to talk to a therapist about this, because I thought about it. Every guy I've ever broke up with would not follow the rules of my project, you know, to make them, like, this better person. And then they had, the ones that broke up with me were like, I'm sick of following this project. So I cannot date projects anymore. If I date a guy, I can't have any, he can't, he can't have any issues. Like too many, I, I dated too many like alcohol people and whatever. I need to date somebody who has no problems. Anyway. Anyway, so I got this at the dollar store. I really like it. It's really cute. Not the dollar store. I got it at the thrift store. It was a dollar. So I'm looking, I'm looking for somebody who's not a project, who has their life together. I think that's hard, though. I, th I think that's kind of hard. Hi, Lois. So happy to see you. I have so much to tell you, Lois. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, my pool broke. The pipe's under the pool. This guy came to fix my GFI outlets and then he goes, Lauren, we need to rewire. Like it's some kind of horror movie. I'm like, what does this mean? Yes, Mackenzie, thank you. Yes, don't don't take my advice. Date a guy. Oh, isn't it pretty? Uh, date a guy who's who's nice. <laughs> date, be and normal. Normal people are the best. Don't try to date somebody who's like, you know, fun or anything. It should be normal. Go to school. Get good grades. The pink towel. I don't know what you're. There's so much stuff everywhere. I don't know what you're talking about. There's so much stuff. I have to organize. I'm going to do one room at a time. One like area at a time. It has been. I don't know what I'm doing. I just, yeah, I just have too much stuff, guys. Um, did you look into the background history of the ha the, ha the house? Well, Michael, fun funny story. There really was no background history. The previous owner had passed away. They had told me there was a lot of issues and problems, but that's why I was getting a decent deal, deal on the house. Had the house been remodeled and had everything gone right with it, it would have probably been, you know, about $100,000 more. So, you know, I guess I, I got a good deal, but... It wasn't a great deal. Um, the other house I looked like I looked at was a little bit less expensive, but had a lot more problems. Do you have a nice raincoat? I do, London. I actually have um, I have like three of them in Los Angeles. I think I'm gonna get. I have. I so I got this jacket, and then I realized I have like three of them in California that kind of look similar. But I mean, maybe I have none here. This is. Kind of, what do you think, guys? Should I keep it or sell it? What are your thoughts? I'm trying to decide what to do with my stuff. Keep it or sell it. Let me know. Hi, Shelly. How are you? What's up? I was trying to go to Canada, and then uh, my friend told me they're not letting Americans into the border. I was so sad. I was talking to this guy um, who lives in Montreal, or he's from Montreal. I was like, let's go to Canada. And he was just like, Lauren, they're not letting anyone into the border. I was like, oh, He's like, you're American. You're not allowed. Is that true? Or maybe he just like didn't like me. <laughs> he was sure probably just like, nope, this girl's crazy. <laughs> okay, I got problems, but you're too young for me. You are fascinating. Oh, thank you, David. So that's a good sign. Maybe I, I can fix all of everyone's problems. Like my thing is like I would meet a guy who had like some kind of, you know, either uh, some kind of problem and I would try to fix it. Like or like, you know, my 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 childhood sweetheart boyfriend, like I helped him. He's he's going to. Oh, Shelly said keep it. <laughs> I have too much clothes, Shelly. This is a pro I have problems. I can't fit them in my closets. Um Oh, thank you. Thank you, Trina. I got him at a dollar store. I, I basically made my childhood boyfriend who has failed all his classes. Like he was not smart at all. I wrote all of his college application, like essays. And now like, you know, 10 years later, he's uh, on his way to be a physical therapist because I told him that I would only marry him if he was going to be a physical therapist. So I like basically like molded him. We didn't work out though. Um, cause we were on and off. And then during one of our off periods, he dated, uh, one of my friends. So after that, I couldn't forgive him. Maybe I should have forgiven him, but I just couldn't forgive him. I'm coming back to Cali in 2022. Oh yes, for sure. Maybe if you stay friends with Brad, he'll invite you to one of those fuller house parties that th those are like amazingly cool. He's very cool. Brad, sweet guy, very sweet guy. Looks great for now, this is my mom's, so I could never get rid of it. I actually wore it today. I didn't realize I thought it was my sweater. And she goes, Oh, that was my sweater. Oh, you oh, don't sell it. Take care. Happy holidays. Thank you guys. Yeah, the holidays are coming. Very excited about the holidays coming. I love holidays. Um oh, Mike said, let's not talk about relationships. I know, because my my mom gets annoyed. She's just like, What if your ex boyfriends are watching this? I'm like, I don't care. Oh, my COVID test was positive. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, my God, Darlene. What happened? How did you get it? I don't understand. Oh, how do you feel? I, You know what, though? I talked to my friend today. Who to he told me that. So this is a story. He told me his girlfriend's, um, his girlfriend's mother uh, was in the hospital for something else. And it was like that she had a cough and they didn't test her for, they didn't think it was anything. And then his girlfriend ended up 
Like they, they didn't think the mother was sick. They're just like, oh, it's just a cough. And then his girlfriend got sick and his girlfriend tested positive and they found that the mother had it and then he had it. But it was a mild case and they were fine. So knock on wood that you guys all recover. He said it was just like a cold and he lost his uh, sense of taste, you know. So just stay positive. I'm staying. Um, everyone say a prayer for Darlene and her family right now. Oh, that's awful. I'm so sorry. Oh, how did the hell did that happen? I feel like I talk to you every day and you're you're very careful. My friend actually got it too. She got it from voting. Um, she said cuz that was the only place she's a nurse but she works from home and she the only place she had gone was to vote and that's where she got it. Um, now you need someone who you like as and like you as. It sounds like you get caught up in stipulations. Um, even if you guys hold each other's <laughs> You're, you're fall hard when you're supposed to meet the person you're supposed to be with. I hope so. I mean, honestly, maybe I've just, I've, I've decided like, maybe I've never really been in love before. That's what I think. It's kind of sad. Um, because I'm just so focused on work and stuff, you know, mom said that when I let him know when we come back and he wants to take my family out to lunch. Yeah. He's so nice, Brad. Brad is very nice. That's so sweet. So sweet. And, and California is definitely very interesting. You have to be so careful, Mackenzie. You can't just trust everybody you meet online. You have to really, really do background checks and stuff. Oh, wow. Each time receiving. I know, Drew. I'm so nervous about it. I really, I really am. I'm, I'm really. Oh, your mom's a nurse. Yeah, I love. My grandmother was a nurse, so I love nurses. Um, I'm really nervous about, I'm really nervous about, like, it because I just don't. I, I was traveling, so I would hate to be the one to have given it to, to any of my family members. So that's what I was thinking about. I was like, oh my God, I hope I'm not the infected one. And my, my uncle calls me. He's so funny. He was like, you have to take the flu shot. You have to, he's like, you have to get a flu shot. You have to get the pneumonia shot. I'm like, I don't want to get a pneumonia shot. I feel like, um, I don't know. Timothy said, I'm actually tired of falling in love. Oh, David said it's just mild for me, but scary. Oh, well, thank God, David, you're doing okay. It is it is very a scary thing. It's a very scary thing, you know? I don't know. I'm just uh, hoping, hoping that uh, we, that, that uh, it just ends. I want this stupid virus to go away, really. It's just very annoying. I'm like, I hate this virus. It's not, it's just not fun. Uh, I don't understand what you're saying. You make the bedroom into closets. Yes, yes, all of my bedrooms are like giant closets for my clothes. I have too many clothes. I don't know what to do with all the clothes. Good morning, honey. Your mother's news and health. Yes, thank you guys. You know, I always always think about my parents. That's why I'm here. And just, yeah. So what I had done before the summer, which I don't know where any of this stuff is, I have to find it, is that I put all of the bathing suits in little plastic baggies to just make sure they're together. My sister and her husband. I'm going to be fine. Just keep me in your prayers. I have a lot of faith in God and control. I feel... Oh, thank God, darling. What were you... Do you know what... Where were, were you at the hospital? When you, were you, where do you think you got it? What happened? It's just so crazy, and I, I do know a lot of people who got it, and they're okay, so, yeah. Sergio said, beautiful hair. Why, thank you, you know. Are you a fan of a Giants jersey? Are you a football fan? I do, and I have I have a Giants t-shirt somewhere in this mess that is my room. Um, I do like the, you know, I do like the teams. Hello from Baltimore. What's up, Baltimore. LA is, oh, you haven't been to LA. You would love LA. LA is really nice. Um, LA is definitely one of my favorite places. That's why I bought a house there. I always, it was my dream in high school. That was my dream. I was like, I want to move to California. And that's what I did. It's kind of crazy, right? That was my dream years ago. Oh, uh, Andy said, I have a thousand plus rose hips on me. Yes. And they say zinc, but the only thing for me, I don't know if you guys get this, when I take zinc, I get the worst indigestion. I like. I feel like I'm going to throw up. I can't take it. I don't know. Um, hello and welcome. Just you know, organizing my clothes, looking at my dog who's on the like, sitting, eating his feet. My husband was in the hospital, so I stayed with him. Oh, wow, darling. 
Mm, sending you prayers. Hopefully your husband is doing better now. Uh, that's my dream and I'm in the 10th grade. Oh, to go to California? Well, make sure you go to college first. That's what... I wasn't going to go to college. It wasn't like... And then my teachers forced me to apply and I ended up getting scholarships. So thank God I applied and I got a bio degree. So in case all of this acting stuff doesn't end up working out, I can go, I can go become a nurse. Thank you, Darlene. I got them at the dollar store. I should, I should, uh, I should start being, my, my friends all tell me they want to like buy all my stuff. They're like, I want to buy your stuff. I have to like buy extras and sell them. <laughs> What's up from Hawaii? Oh, aloha. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. And I just, guys, I had lasagna for dinner, but all I want it's lasagna. It's so hard. Prayers for her. How are you doing, Lois? I miss you. Once we get once we get our results from the COVID test and I and um we quarantine, you have to come visit. Um, yeah. So I'm waiting for our results, and I think it should be fine. I took a test 72 hours before I flew, and then uh, they came to the house, and it was so weird. They put the things up your nose for like. 10 things and it was so it just tickled like my brain it kind of felt really strange I didn't I didn't like it I did not like it but I had to do it are you still in New Jersey or New York I'm in New York right now I really I'm gonna go back to New Jersey probably on the weekend so George can see Pepe his best friend George you want to see Pepe he's just licking his feet right now I'm sure he does um hello and welcome how are you all if you sell anything, please let me know. I'm going to start. I started at eBay. Lauren Francesca Vintage. I think I had listed some things. I don't even know where they are. So don't buy them yet. <laughs> don't buy anything. I, I like, I was like, I'm going to sell a bunch of things. And then I tried them on and I like, I'm like, oh, these are cute. It's so hard. But I just, if, if you guys saw this room, you would understand. And if you saw my closets in LA and the problem was I had to explain because I had like my friend who was helping me fix stuff like uh was fixing a doorknob because I put all my clothes I took all my clothes out of the drawers because I don't know when I'm coming back there I might just rent out my house and I wanted to put all my clothes away and then I had all creams too oh my goodness guys I have given all of all of my friends got like really nice creams because all these companies will give me that, that and that's how I have so many clothes too all these companies give me these products, these amazing, like, and I have two bottles. I didn't give these bottles away, but they're queen, they're creams that are, they have gold in them. They're a thousand dollars each bottle and like, oh, they're in Oprah's thing or whatever. I have not, I have not used any of them because I look at them and I'm like, I don't want to use a thousand dollar cream on my face. Like I just did like, and I was cleaning out my closets and I saw the cream and I'm like, what is wrong with me? It's like, they're all old now. Hopefully they still work, but yeah. So that's my story. I get all this nice stuff, which is amazing. But at the same time, I'm scared to use some of it because I'm like, this is so expensive and I save it. It's bad. Anyway, I have problems that I need to talk to a therapist about for sure. Um, <laughs> uh, what did you say Did I, um, I do cooking videos. I made lasagna with my mom last night. My mom was like, oh, you lost like 10 pounds. I'm like, yeah, I haven't been eating as much. I cook, but like, I'll cook a big breakfast. I won't do a big dinner. You look like you lost weight since you were in LA. Michael, I think it was like the last day of like my electrical going, like the last few days I didn't live stream at all because my electrical went bad. My pool started leaking. Like everything just started breaking. And I don't know. I think my house is possessed. There was this room, right? And I don't know if we talked about this on live stream. So it's one of the rooms upstairs. It's one of the back bedrooms. And one of the things, um, he said, Everell said, if you want to sell clothes, are you going to make money? Everell, I'm trying to, I'm trying to just pay for the electrical on my house. It's very expensive. <laughs> so I figure if I sell, like, if I even sell all of this stuff on the floor for a dollar each, I could probably, I could probably pay for, I think it's going to be $10,000 to rewire my house. But anyway, my, my, my family's like, don't sell your clothes, Lauren. I'm like, you know what? I don't need all this stuff. So we'll see. I don't know. The lasagna live was so much fun. Thank you, Mackenzie. It was very, it was very fun to make it and eat it, but I was so stressed and, and I feel the most weight that I lose is when I'm stressed. I just, I don't know what it is. I just, just start like just the, the, the weight sheds off of me. So I was just so upset when the pool was leaking everywhere. I was just like, why is this happening? So I was really sad because I wanted to, to enjoy it, but oh well. 
Oh, anyway, so so one of the things, it was like this four leaf clover necklace on a gold chain. It was hanging in the closet, right? And um, I just noticed that, right? So this time I go and I look at it and I'll show you guys when I go there. Next to the four leaf clover thing, there's a little bag, an empty bag, you know, like one of those like makeup pouches, right? And on the makeup couch, is is a clown is a scary looking clown and that the only thing i could think is like and this is what uh my friend said who was renting it for a while was like there are ghosts but they're like they're like ghosts that like angry ghosts or something so so yeah do you still have the dude in the garage no the dude is not in the garage uh but i have dennis is there for now i think he's gonna leave soon and then i have um my friends Jarrett and Andrew are renting and they want to, they're going to help me rent, um, some of the other rooms. Maybe we'll see. Well, they're actually just house sitting. So they're not, they're not giving me any money for it, but they're house sitting there just to make sure the house is okay. I don't want someone coming in there and breaking in. George, you okay? Where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to go, George? You want treats? What are you trying to do? Let me see if I have any treats for George. extra bone today <sighs> what are you all saying You're probably like she's a mess george is doing very good he just grabs his bone you like blue sapphire gems yes i love all kinds of gems hey who is pepe pepe is george's best friend did you call the electrician yet i've called several um because i'm working on such a budget they <laughs> they don't call you back very often Hey, Lauren, are you going to collaborate with Walter Masterson on a video again, or is that a sore subject? No, I would definitely collab with Walter soon. Um, Walter is, uh, I text him. He, Walter got very famous. This is what happens when, when your friends get social media famous. And I love Walter. Um, but he just gets, you get, they get very busy, and it's kind of funny. I love the top you're wearing. It looks very vintage. Oh, thank you. I forget where I got it from. I remember when I got it, I thought it looked vintage, and that's why I liked it. I, if, I feel like it was at a normal store, maybe. Like, I like these stores. Uh, like, in Queens, there's this place called Jamaica Avenue, and it's kind of like the ghetto. But you can go there and, like, negotiate with people about, like, how much you want to pay for stuff. So, it's like, it's a fun. It's like a fun, it's a fun experience, but kind of not. It's kind of far, and hard to do. My birthday stone is an emerald. Um, so I love my friend Walter. Walter actually helped me, uh, make my YouTube channel and he didn't understand because for a while when I was blowing up, it was like really hard to, to manage. You kind of, you're, when you first start like getting fans and followers, it's kind of like, it's just like a whole new world. What's up, Jackie? How are you? It's like a whole new world. And it's not that I was ignoring him, but I was just busy working all the time. Um, so that's what happens. You're so busy working all the time that it's hard to manage now. Like, I don't know. Now I'm kind of like super jaded and I'm like, oh, I don't care about, you know, social media, whatever. But, <laughs> but, but it's, it's great to see that he's doing so well. I'm very happy for him. He totally deserves it. He's a really talented actor too. If you look up his stuff, he was in this movie that like went to Sundance years ago, which was awesome. Sergio said, love your perfect nose. Well, that's sweet. I remember when I first started my, my YouTube channel, people were like, you need a nose job. I was like, thanks. That is so sweet of you. And that's what I tell my friends because a lot of my friends get on social media and they get really upset. And I'm just like, you have to like not care about it. May I live with you? I don't have a home to live in right now. Oh, less shit. I'm so sorry. I'm living with my parents right now. So... I understand. It's very hard. I always move friends and it's just hard to pay for it. So go on. The, is, do, they, is they still, do they still have a dating game though? I think that was like years ago. I don't think they still have that. It's called life. I know, Jay. It's so hard. It's like one big science experiment, you know? 
this thing called life. What's that noise? Oh, is that George? What are you doing, George? Oh, what the hell is this on my board? Oh my goodness, why is there like onion peels here? I don't understand what is on my floor right now. <laughs> I just saw that. Super overwhelming. I had an assistant when I started a quick and she was important to have. I miss her. Me too. I miss my old assistant too. Oh, for sure, Everell. I'm not stressed. I'm very happy and I, I'm very grateful. Your mother is back home. Oh my goodness, Jay. That's amazing, incredible news. Oh my God. Thank God. That's great. He's with me right now. You want him? No, it's all right. He was here. Hmm. Beautiful as ever. Thank you. They need your help. Yeah, it's and it's hard to help everybody. I realize that too. Like, that's one of my things. I love to help people. It's just a lot. It's very hard. Love from India. What's up, India? How are you? Come see me and Courtney. Oh, that's amazing. Portland, Maine. My mom has always wanted to go to Maine. That's one of the places my mom wants to go, is Maine. Hi, how are you tonight? I'm good. I'm just, uh putting my life back together right now what it feels like I'm just putting everything back together are you having fun what are you doing well Marvin I'm just trying to I haven't been home right I've been I've been away so I've just been trying now to organize all my stuff here and I have these I got two of these shoes I should put one of them up because I couldn't I saw them go on sale I was like I couldn't not get it these are like the best rain boots I should put them up online and sell them but I love them so much. I'm like, do I need two pairs of rain boots? Try to call five people a day to check in on them. It means the world to them. That's true. That is definitely true. Have you ordered any pizza? Honestly, not really, but you know that I'm back in New York. I should. Oh, May 17th. Nice, Sean. I'm May 2nd. That's my birthday. What have you broke today? <laughs> I'm sure there's many things I broke. I just can't think of them right now. Um, yeah, I'm pretty spastic and klutzy. It's hard, guys. It's hard to just keep the keep the juggling happening, you know? It's a constant juggling game that life is. I'm supposed to be watching a series. What series are you supposed to watch? You can't stop watching this. Well, thank you. I appreciate that that you can't stop watching this. I like your videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. What's up, Sri Lanka? How are you? I had the most amazing lasagna today, and I just want to eat more of it. So instead of eating more, I was like, I'm going to go online. Where do you live at? Well, that's a funny story. We talk about this often. I live in California, but I've been in New York. Uh, I'm stuck in the, uh, what's that, that show, Groundhog Day? Um, that's that's my life. So, so yeah, I've just been on Groundhog Day. Sheldon said, hi, how are you today? Looking good. Always, as always, love you. Thank you. Love you, too. Love you, too. Is this the right bikini or the wrong bikini? I got two of them. My fans are so great. They sent me two of these bikinis because one of them they sent was an extra large. Oh, an XXL. I should sell the XXL just because I have two of them now. So, can I have some? Can you have some what? Of my sanity? Please come to Sri Lanka. I would love to go to Sri Lanka. Um... But it's kind of far right now, and I'm pretty sure, like, I know Americans aren't allowed in any countries. Sold if you have the size of... Oh, wait, yeah, it's a size 8, Darlene. What size are you? A lot of my friends think they're the same size. My feet are kind of big. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the problem. That's the problem. How is the weather there? How is the weather here? It's about, like, it was 70 yesterday, so today it's kind of like... A little it rained a lot so it's about 10 degrees warmer oh you sent a request <laughs> you have school tomorrow Mackenzie tomorrow at a normal time please come to Baltimore it was really sad last year at this time I was in Baltimore for the ball oh you're a size 8 too that's amazing all right so if I put them up I'll let you know <laughs> that's my problem I can't sell the things but those are nice those are nice those are my favorite boots I have two pairs of them though I don't need it I don't need it. And I went to L.A. and I'm like, oh, I'll bring a pair to L.A. I have rain boots in L.A. too. I got these really cute red ones last year at uh, when Kmart was closing. Kmart by me closed and everything was so cheap. It was it was insane. Still drinking essential water. Yes, I am. My essential oil water. 
that's something that I, I have, uh, Darlene, I don't know if you know about essential oils. Um, totally changed my life. I meet all these like interesting people in California. California is a weird place. It's definitely very interesting. And essential oils is one of the things that I, that is my favorite. I love crystals. I'm very into crystals, but essential oils really like, I don't know, it stimulates your senses. I just love them. I love them. And I, I got, I got into them because this holistic vet is integrated, uh, vet was telling me for George to, uh, to use it to fight his cancer. And then I started getting them and I just started getting totally addicted to the essential oils. Love them. Oh my goodness. Your feet. That's wow. Everell. How is the water? So what I'll do, Darlene is like, I buy, I get, I use doTERRA uh, the terror young living are the ones that like you can trust in terms of like drinking them. I don't know about other brands, but I just know they have like people who check like the oils. So what they'll do is they'll titrate different plants and they'll get the, the oil, which is like the soul of the plant. So they say like the rose oil is like thousands upon thousands of roses that they put into one bottle. Um, and it's very it kind of, it's supposed to raise your frequency and vibration. And honestly, like it has helped me in situations where, like, I, I think I've told you guys I had this one issue with a neighbor where I was in court and it was like awful and I just put it on me and I just felt protected and it worked. I got a restraining order. So, I mean, I wasn't the one who filed for it, but it just happened that way. This is life. Um, clothes you don't need, give it to Mackenzie. <laughs> They're like, give all your clothes away, Lauren. I should, I should just donate it to, to you guys <laughs> because, because, uh, I brought it to the store and then I saw it on the rack for like nothing. I was like, I ended up buying some of it back. So yeah. Everall, we don't talk about my age. We don't talk about it. I will, I will block you for that. <laughs> my dog, Rosie, I want to meet you and George. Oh, George is sweet. What size are you in eight shoes? Oh boy. I have so many shoes. I'm going to put them online. Definitely the rain boots, Darlene. I'll let you know. I have so many, like I got all these. I got these. I don't know. I have so many brand new shoes that like, I was just looking at my stuff and this is kind of morbid. I'm like, God forbid anything ever happens to me. My parents are going to have like a really hard time getting rid of my stuff. Like, what are they going to do with all this amazing stuff? I don't know. <laughs> like you have to keep it all guys. <laughs> can't get rid of any of it no ages sorry very sensitive <laughs> um but yeah so I have a lot of stuff I have a lot of cool LA outfits essential oil is good to add to your water but you have to make sure it's the edible kind uh too please approve my request I'll go to bed I promise I know it's late Mackenzie tomorrow tomorrow because then it's gonna say your name on here too we'll do it on Instagram all right I don't want any creepy guys writing you that's gonna happen Zucchini bread. Yes, definitely. Definitely. We do it on Instagram tomorrow. I promise. Um, I love zucchini bread. I definitely want to make more of it. I don't have any zucchinis though. I don't know. We're not going to the farms tomorrow, Mackenzie, tomorrow. Not right now. <sighs> All right. Fine, Mackenzie. Fine. Fine. I'm approving it now, but you can wear them with so many outfits. Yeah, I know. But now it's like, it's winter kind of coming, so I can't wear a lot of the stuff here. You just got rid of 25 pairs of shoes. All right, does it work? I'm trying to add you now, Mackenzie. Let's see if it works. And if don't friend her. She's over. She's under 18. And don't accept anyone unless you get a background check. I had, a, I had an issue before. All right. Um, that's so sweet of you, but I'm not looking for a husband right now. I'm very happily... Uh, being single. Um, oh, the shoes you had in the freezer. No, they have not fit yet. I put the stretcher, I put a stretch, a shoe stretcher in it and left it in there. I think they're in New Jersey. I didn't even think I brought them back. So I hope they, I hope they end up stretching. I got two new sh uh, shoe stretchers in uh, California. That was interesting. I don't know what's going on, Mackenzie. No answer from live guests. So maybe it just stopped working. I don't know. It's okay, but we don't talk about it. It's kind of like Fight Club, you know? I want some zucchini bread. I want some zucchini bread, too. Zucchini bread is very good. What are you doing with the camera? I don't know. It's just on my bed right now. It's just on the bed. 
there hanging out. You have a nice smile and excellent attitude. Thank you. I try really hard because it's very hard to be, it's very easy to be jaded. All right, what happened, Mackenzie? Here, I'll try it. She didn't see it. I resent it. All right, we'll try one more time, Mackenzie. You want to talk to me? Very good call. Hi. I know how I have school t today, but I am so like wide awake. <laughs> I know, it's hard. It's very hard to get on the schedule. Yeah, I know, especially since we were supposed to go back next week, but since everything got pushed back, we're back in virtual. So. Oh, so you don't so have to like wake up and go to school. No, but I do. <laughs> That's why I'm glad I have to. I only have to get up at like 7:30 because, and then like even if I went to bed at like one, I'd still get six or, six or so hours of sleep. You should try to get eight hours. Definitely. Eight hours. <laughs> you are so sweet. <laughs> You're gonna be tired though. I, I know how I get at night. I if, if you don't focus and get good grades, you need sleep. Wow. Lauren, I am not going to be tired. <laughs> I'm crazy. I've literally went to school on to sleep and stayed up the whole entire day. <laughs> I'm well, crazy. Don't be crazy. Don't be crazy. What else I'm is going crazy. on? So Full House is your favorite show? Is that how? Because you found, you found me through Brad, right? Yep, and then I found Brad through Fuller House. So. Yeah, that's cool. But see, the internet is a very crazy place. Yeah, and then I am so, like, I am a big Full House Obsessed fan that I have my box set. So. Amazing. Yeah, I well, we had Uncle Joey on the show. Dave Coulier, that was so exciting. Yeah, I was supposed to get to go to a taping, but when we went to California last year, they weren't filming, and I was so upset. Oh. I went to California in April. <laughs> Well, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I did get to meet Candace though, which was fun. She's all very nice, super nice. Yes, she is very nice. Well, I am so not tired. It's very <laughs> well. It's good to meet you. Do you have anything to tell everybody? <laughs> um. No. <laughs> So do you want to, what do you want to go, if you go to LA, what do you want to do? Do you want to be an actress? What do you want to go to school for? I probably want to be an actress. Actress? Because like, as you know, because I saw that Brad said this on the live with his birthday. I, like, I sing and I write songs. Oh, cool. Very cool. I be kind of, like, good for me because I sing and I write songs and, like, very cool. Well, great to see you in real life, and we'll do this again another day. Bye. Bye, Lauren. Bye. <laughs> so adorable. I will next time we'll listen to you sing. For some reason, if somebody moves a phone around, it makes all kinds of noise in the background. So, so yeah. Yeah, Glenn, it was weird. The sound was weird. Oh, what's up, Gary from New Zealand? How are you? I'm just organizing old bathing suits now. Just hanging out. Just I wanted to, Mackenzie wanted to come on the live. So I said hello to Mackenzie. Mackenzie is one of Brad's fans. Brad hosts my um, podcast with me, which is one of my favorite things ever. Uh, I do a podcast called How to Start. And it's fun because we get to interview all types of inter interesting people. What happened to the chair from New Jersey? It's still there. I'm trying. To... Oh, sorry. I was plugging my phone in. Oh, my goodness. Mackenzie, next time I have a charge, we'll, we'll do it on Instagram. Lauren, look like at you being such a normal mama. Love it. Thank you, Darlene. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's like, and I get nervous too, especially if um, my viewers are under a certain age. I had, an, I had an issue. I had an issue before with a viewer you talking to someone and lying about her age. And it was just like, I was like, I can't have this going on in my live stream. It was too much. It was too much for me. So I have to be very careful, especially if, if, um, if the viewers are under 18. Cause I know when I was under 18, I always, I was very mature for my age, but some things you don't understand. And you know, it's always, you always have to be, uh, I, I, I always try to be a good role model to people regardless of how old they are, because 
it's very easy to to follow things that are a bad influence and get get off the right path you know it's my project in me come to sri lanka i would love to go i would love to go but one of my favorite things is that my friend who married one of my viewers that's one of my favorite stories and hopefully they're still happily married i haven't talked to them in a while but i was just so excited by that i met some girl at an acting audition, a beautiful actress. And um, she was watching, I guess, my live streams and commenting. One of my viewers saw her, a really handsome uh, military guy. And they ended up like meeting. And now they have, I think, well, the last time I checked, they had like two kids or something. So I was just like, I was so, I felt so proud. I was like, oh, wow. I kind of indirectly like this beautiful girl and this handsome guy, like from watching my live streams, they found love. <laughs> yes it's it's fun it's it's definitely fun it's definitely interesting uh seeing things like that happen like positive things talking to positive people from the live streams i love it especially people who want to you know be an actor and be a singer it is very hard and i had a backup plan in college i have a bio degree i was gonna go i wanted to go to medical school too and then i i started i didn't end up going Oh, for sure. Good. Thank you, Mackenzie. I, I didn't end up going, though, because I ended up booking acting work, but it's still very hard. And, you know, sometimes, like, I talk to my friends, and I'm like, maybe I should go back and go to nursing school, because you never know. Like, there'll be months, like, there was a time where I booked a, I booked a commercial. It's like $30,000 in one day, and I'm like, yes, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing this acting thing, and that's because I had, like, a limit to myself. I was like, okay, if, like, by a certain age, and I'm not, like, doing anything, I'm done. And I booked that big job and I was like so excited, but then I didn't work for like a year after that. So like that one job could only last me a year. And that's like, I had to live on like a budget. So <laughs> it's hard. It's really, it's really hard. And it's uh, being an artist. I just, my parents are artists. I just watch them hustle and struggle. And it, a lot of it has to do with who, you know, not what, you know, and you have to just be accepted of like when they're casting a show or a TV show, 99% of the time, they've already thought, they already have somebody in mind for the roles. So you're going out to read an audition just to fill like a SAG kind of standard where they already know they're gonna cast. It's very hard, very, very hard. But if you keep persisting and do it, you can get amazing opportunities. You can meet good people. I mean, I'm doing okay, I bought a house. It's, it's falling apart. I'm not a very good contractor. <laughs> I'm definitely not a good, I, I, I definitely did not foresee uh the issues and problems that i was going to have to deal with um so there's that i guess you know i should have just stuck to acting and as my uncle said like why would i buy the house like why wouldn't i wait to get married and and then decide i don't know what i was thinking guys i was just like and i was talking to some some guy and he was just like like why did you buy the house lauren and i was just like you know what because i don't need a guy i'm gonna get my own house <laughs> so it's just you know i was having a moment I was having such a moment. Thank you for approving my request, even though it's extremely late. That made my night. Good. Good, Mackenzie. Very good. I would have talked longer, but it's late and your phone was, was making weird noises. So, yeah, this is my dad's pajama shirt, old one. He was going to throw it away and I saw it and I was like, oh, my God, you are not throwing this away. It's so cool. It's from like the 70s. Look at it. Look how cool this looks. Have you done a lot of commercials? I used to. Is your hair natural? Do you lose texture straight? Oh, thank you, Darlene. I really, honestly, I don't do anything really with my hair. Um, I use uh, an essential oil shampoo. I think that really helps keep it uh, dry as I've gotten older. And I've talked about this with my friend, one of my friends, is that my the hair follicles have gotten skinnier. So it gets very knotty. I used a, a boar bristle, bristle br brush is what I need to use. Otherwise, I get such knots and it. That helps. This is so cute um the, the boar bristle brush helps a lot but yeah no it's just my natural the natural uh thing of my hair and then i'll do i'll what i'll do with my hair is i do if it gets really dry which in la it did i'll do like a natural uh sham not shampoo but like a leave-in conditioner isn't this cute um and i put like i put eggs avocado some essential oils in it i think i put grapefruit and lemon because i was just trying to get it a little brighter because i haven't gone to the hair salon in way too long. I'm trying to decide. Let me know, know what you guys think. You think I should do my roots? My hair girl is in Manhattan, who I love. So she's the one who always does it. The last time I did it was in February. Honestly, like, 
the the whole like CV thing happens. I've been kind of scared. I'm trying to, I probably shouldn't go because uh, I don't want to get my parents sick. And you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's expensive. So I've just been trying to save, save my money. So, but let me know, do you think I should dye my roots? You think I should leave it? What are your thoughts? I don't know. Hello, hello, hello. I'm trying to organize clothes and I can't find anymore. I like to put things in little plastic baggies. Robert asked, when are you going back to California? Well, I just got here. So I'm not exactly sure. I will probably, I, I'm probably going to go back. Um, lost your video. Where'd you lose it? I'm probably going back to California in mid-January. Hopefully I can get it fixed remotely. I have my friends there who are pretty much pretty good. So, so hopefully they will help me. We'll see. Oh my goodness. You auditioned for the voice. I have friends that, that got like far, but it's very hard. All those reality shows too are very hard. Everything is hard in life. Anything that's worth it. Maybe try a new color. I was going to buy henna dye at the dollar store. It was on sale. They had like a, old, but I didn't get it. I was just like, uh, and I had a box of dye I was going to come home and do for my mom. And I totally forgot that too. So mad at myself. Cause I was like, I already had the dye. I hate buying, I hate spending money on stuff, but I'll, I'll, I have to get another box eventually and fix my mom's hair. Just cause like it's growing. She hasn't gone to get it done. She's letting it grow out now. Hello and welcome. But yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff here. Nice dress. Oh, thank you. Just trying to organize. I have a lot of bags, which actually came in a lot of handy in, the, in LA. So I just started putting my clothes in different bags. It was very interesting. What's up, Christian? How are you? Thank you for sharing. It tells me that you shared. It makes me feel special. Thank you for making me feel special. Hello and welcome to my room right now. I sadly didn't make it maybe when we go on Instagram live tomorrow, I'll sing you something. I would love that. You know, my mom is a singing teacher, Mackenzie. So I did many years of singing classes and it is interesting. It's very interesting. I did not get my hair done in LA. I've been honestly guys, and I even cut it myself. If you guys have been watching for a while, I watched a YouTube video. I was getting hairdressers coming into my live stream telling me like, girl, you need to cut your hair. Um, but I wasn't going to the salon cause I was just nervous. So I watched a YouTube video and I did it myself, which I do not recommend. Oh, I'm thinking selling sunset style hair color. <laughs> oh my God, guys, you want me to be more vapid looking? Should I get lip injections as well? Maybe a boob job while we're at it? No, don't do it. I'm very happy. Um, I'm very happy with my body. Uh, because of the social media stuff, I get doctors writing me all the time to collab with them. I have always turned down the injections, the lip injections or any of that. I'm scared of that. But the laser, I think, is good. I've gotten some laser on my face. I think it helps, like, brighten your skin, especially, like, my freckles is something that really... Because I didn't have them before. I got them from getting sun poisoning. So I would say wear sunscreen. That's my number one trick. Sunscreen. Um, and yeah, and I think that you can always make yourself like, I kind of grew up. I wasn't, I was not the prettiest girl at all. So it was like the last to be picked because I was super spastic. And I realized that, you know, really doing some makeup things and, you know, just doing different things with your hair can kind of make you stand out wearing earrings, you know? So I just, just learned, I just learned about beauty and stuff. I'm not a beauty guru by any chance. I know a lot of girls, I'm friends with a lot of girls who are really good at makeup and beauty. I'm not that. No lip injections. Yeah, no, darling. I didn't, I said no to them, even though they were free. My friend was like, you said no to free lip injections. I, so many people wanted to give me them. Cause then they could say like, Oh, I did her lips, you know, but I just, I, I, I was nervous cause I seen some people with lip injections and they get like, you know, if, if you're allergic to the collagen or whatever they put in their silicone, whatever, it just looks weird. Oh, thank you, Louie. Louie said, I like your hair. No lip injections, Lauren. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're like, oh, no, she came back from L.A. and she's talking lip injections. No, I wouldn't do that. I have, I did want to get a nose job for a while. Um, I was thinking about it, especially, like, when I started my YouTube channel. That was one of the things people were commenting was, like, get a nose job. But I decided not to because I, I don't know, I got really, I went to a bunch of nose doctors with my mom. And, uh, you know, you interview doctors 
And honestly, I looked at like a lot of the before and afters and it terrified me. Like some of the before and afters, I looked at the afters and I was like, ooh, like I don't want that nose. So then that's why I decided not to do it. I really didn't mind it. I mean, I have friends who had like really bad noses and they got it done and it looks so much better. But then, they, then you see like the people who get it done and it looks fake. And I feel like, yeah, you'll be like a Kardashian. I mean, Kardashians are the Kardashians. <laughs> they make a lot of money. <laughs> Christian said, you're so hot now. Oh, so you're so sweet. Very sweet. Oh, I found some spray. This is my bought my stuff from New Jersey contact case an emergency contact case some nail polish what do i have in here oh facial spray i can't i'm so excited to go live with you on instagram today after school have you heard of the song before you go no what's that thank you stay the same you're beautiful well thank you lost your video again why do you keep losing my video what's going on where are you losing it where is it going how are you guys you are so beautiful. Thank you, Martinez. No, I decided I didn't need one after after a bit. You know? I was just like, I don't want one. Do you ever feel like you're looking at the world through a, a rose-colored looking glass? No, but sometimes I do feel like it's, like, blurry. I'm, like, just, like, going through the motions. Especially right now with all that's going on in the news and life. It's just, like, kind of, like, it's just, like, okay, I'm just going through it all. I'm just going to do it. Like, okay, I got to do this right now. Okay, I got to do this. Organize my room. Do this. Do that. Okay, drive here. Drive there. Okay, we did it. Thank God. And that's how I think. Like, as I was driving to the airport and my car starts, like, smoking from the front and my ex-boyfriend who's driving me is just like, I'm going to leave it at the airport. And I'm just like, oh, my God, you're horrible. <laughs> like, but eventually he didn't leave it there. He was just frustrated that, that uh, he took my car and that happened. So... You are cracking me up. I need a good laugh. Oh, I'm glad you're laughing. I don't even know what I'm saying. Just talking about like everything, you know, just like crazy, crazy, craziness of life. Yeah. I think the craziest for me, like, I mean, yeah, the election stuff was all out there and just like, just everything has just been crazy with, with life in general, like for the longest. Hi, Angela. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Angela. Yeah, no. Thank God I changed my mind because God forbid it would have came out bad. And then I would have had to like live with that, you know, that would have been scary. That would have been really scary. Oh, for sure. Well, you can sing it tomorrow. Yeah, it did change for Jennifer Gray's career. Sounds like one of your movies. I know it was a movie as I'm like sitting there in the car smoking. And then I was just like that crazy girl at the airport. I'm trying to call triple A. I'm checking in. I think the people who checked me in at the airport definitely thought I had a mental problem because I was like on, like I had like the, um, my phone on speaker as I'm walking and it was playing the hold music because for some reason, <laughs> thank you, Angela. Hope you're good. Well, after I'm done with my mandatory quarantine, I will come say hello. Um, and I'm playing the hold music because my ex is just saying, he's like, if I have to wait here too long, I'm going to leave your car at the airport. And I'm just thinking, what am I going to do? How I'm just going to leave. He's going to leave my car at the airport in California. How am I going to get it? Like, is somebody going to get it for me? And I'm going to have to call a friend. Like, you know, you're thinking about all these things. I'm like, am I going to have to call a friend to do a favor to get the car? It was just awful. So when I got here, I kind of just was like, I did that. I prayed to God. Somehow he stayed, thank God, and, and towed it to my mechanic who was, I called my mechanic and, and I, I don't know, it's just hard with mechanics because you don't know if you can trust them. Who knows? He charged me, I think it's like, it was 380 for three radiator um, things for a BM, old BMW. Um, but then he said to me, he said he wasn't going to wait. He had to like, he was about to like leave. He's like, oh, I have to leave and they're not going to let you drop your car. I was like, no, oh no, what happened? There's glue. That's what smells funny. I was like, something smells like something in this bag. It's like, what is this? It's like, I don't know what is on here. I don't know. I don't know what's in this bag. Anyway, love you. Why, thank you. I never get tired of seeing you. Why, thank you. That's very sweet of you. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm still trying to figure out how to do the supporter uh, thing on here. How to, how to use it. I don't know. You be wild and free. I try to, Ron. I really try to. Um, but I'm very, uh, I'm very calculated. 
I'm very practical, so it's hard for me to be wild and free because I'm so practical. Here's a question I've always had. Now that you have acted and are a professional, do you want to direct your own movie someday? I mean, possibly. I do direct a lot of my own YouTube videos, and I'm good at directing my friends. I'm very good at directing my friends. Um, so, you know, one day, oh, a bag of socks. Amazing. One day I will probably do it. or I, I rather, honestly, see, I've never been, this is my problem. I'm never like, what can I do to make a lot of money? Like, that's not how I think. I just like want to make really cool art. So I like directing my friends, like the times that I've had to help my friends work on audition. It's really fun for me to work with actors. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see, one day, maybe not right now. Right now, I just I have a hard enough time. Oh, how are you, Michelle? I see you. I have a hard enough time shooting my YouTube videos, directing those. So and then it's hard too. like, I don't know. I know there's some women watching. But when you're dealing with men, especially like when I hired men and one of my friends, she came over and um, we were doing something for uh, like a big website and they hired me to put it together. And it was Sid, my friend Sid Wilder, amazing actress. And she saw how like I, I had like two different guys working for me, like helping me shoot and do stuff. And they were kind of like telling, like bossing me around. And I was too nice about it. And I was just like letting them kind of walk on me. And after she goes, Lauren, she's like, you cannot let them walk on you. I'm like, what do you mean? And she's just like, they're taking advantage because they're like, one of them had to like leave early and all this stuff. So it was like this whole like drama thing. And, and I was like shooting the thing. So I just like let them leave. And um, I let them leave and I kind of finished myself. But she, after they left, she was like, and then one of the guys, so one of the guys had to leave early and the other guy was like in love with her and was just like, well, I can, I can drive you home because she had Uber there and he's like, I'll drive you home. I'll take care, you know? And she was just like, oh boy. But after she told me, she's like, Lauren, is that a shirt or a dress? Michelle, I think it could be a dress because I think you're supposed to like wear it, but it's like way too short of a dress. So I'm wearing it with pants. Um, but yeah, so she told me that and then she was totally right. And it's really, so it's really hard. Like I've had a lot of assistants and I worked with a lot of guys that were like a hire guys to do stuff and they automatically, and I'm sorry guys that are here, they automatically like look at you and they're like, oh, you're a woman. So they treat you differently. It's very hard. Very, very hard. Oh, this was one of the shirts I think I was like going to get rid of. I like went through everything that I didn't want. This is Dolce & Gabbana though. This is what I got. One of the things I got at a garage sale. Uh, <laughs> it's not my style. But it's like it's Dolce & Gabbana. Oh, wait, don't break my wrist. Let me show you. It's like it's Dolce & Gabbana. I don't know if I can get rid of it, but it's really not my style. What year is your car? It's a 2009 328i. So it's really cute. It's a hardtop convertible. Um, but yeah, it's kind of old. Kind of old. What do you think of this one? What do you think? I see. Yeah, this is, I'm on the fence with it. The thing, this is a thing about shirts like this that go out right here is that they can make your belly look bigger than it is, you know? I mean, I got it at a garage sale, so. That's right around the cost of a BMW repair is, is 380 for a radiator repair. What if it's, um, if it's three, um, if it's three, if it's three, um, three, two, like just, it was the tubing, not the radiator. Wait, how is that normally? So I'm probably gonna get rid of this one because you really have to with clothes. I mean, I got it, which I probably shouldn't have got it, but I bought it cause it was Dolce and Gabbana. Was it Dolce or BCBG? What the hell is it? Let me look. It looks like an expensive shirt. That's why I got it. It's like, it's at a garage sale. It's, what is it? BCBG. Yeah. So, yep. Ain't that true the way they treat us women? For sure. That, that's right, Michelle. And it's, it's very, oh, thank you. I did it so quickly before I shoot. Um, it's very upsetting, you know, it's, it's upset, especially because I was like hiring them. And at first, like more than the guy who was like kind of being disrespectful, leaving early, which like, I'm kind of mad at him anyway, but whatever he, you know, when I, so I had this boyfriend, one of my, my great ex-boyfriends who like had a big company. And like, once me and him broke up, it was like, he started working with my boyfriend's ex-boyfriend's company. And like, that was it. Like, so I felt like he was using me to get to work with my ex-boyfriend, which is kind of like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you guys have ever had that situation, but that kind of sucked. Um, but the other guy, it, it annoyed me. 
I love the shelves, but it, I love the sleeves, but it doesn't look like your style. Well, yeah, it's, it's a really cute shirt, Darlene. It's very cute, but it just, it doesn't, my style, I, I don't, I don't like it when people tell me if I look overweight, I have a thing from being a ballet dancer for so many years and having teachers like yell at me for, you know, I just don't like it if I look heavy. And so I always try not to wear shirts that kind of like, uh, don't, aren't form fitting. But anyway, what was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. It's getting that late. Oh, the other guy. And this was what really bothered me. Uh, and this bothered her too. And she felt like really creeped out about it and complained to me. And after that, she hasn't come over to shoot again, which is kind of upsetting. The other guy was kind of inappropriate because he was hitting on her. And like, if you're in a work situation, you cannot hit on any of the people that come in. Can't do it. So, so yeah. Seems to be working now on my end. Yeah. So, and that, that made me mad with him. And I had told him, I was like, I think he ended up quitting. I don't think I, I don't think I fired him. I think he quit. So I told him like, no, you cannot hit on my friends. <laughs> I think he felt really, um, your room is gorgeous. Are you joking with me? Are you joking? Are you just being funny? This seems raw and for real. Keep it. What, the shoes? These shoes? I'm getting rid of these too, I think. These are an eight, but like, this is the only thing, like they were in my closet for a long time and they've kind of started to fade. So they're like in pretty good shape, but yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I think I'm gonna go to bed soon. Um, I've been talking for too long, my throat hurts. All right, guys, I love you. I'm gonna talk to you tomorrow. I'm going to go to try to get to bed. I've had the worst. And, and so Mackenzie can go to bed because she has school in the morning. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Michelle. You're sweet. I'm just all I'm thinking about is eating some lasagna. And I can't do that. I just can't have lasagna. Well, see, American shoes. See, that's what bothers me about shoe sizes. Shoes. Get rid of it. <laughs> Hope you have a good evening. Thank you. How much should I sell them for? What do you think? $5? $10? just to get rid of them rumble on yeah how so let me know what you think i should sell the shoes for and what i should sell the dolce uh, not dolce and the cabana uh, bcbg shirt i like your fingers thank you i'm very excited i have a collab my friend set up with this podiatrist i'm gonna do like foot videos about how to make your feet pretty because i have this um i had this thing where i chipped a bone in my foot and it hurt so bad but I never, um, I never got surgery for it because I don't want a scar on my feet. And now I'm thinking maybe I just get surgery. I don't know if you are making me hungry. No, don't get hungry. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe I'll have some cereal. I don't know. I'm just thinking about food. All right, guys. Good night. Darlene, please get better soon. Please take some vitamin C and some zinc and feel better. Everyone say a prayer for Darlene. Uh, and yeah, guys, I love you all. I'm trying to figure everything out with, with everything. What time do you want to go live tomorrow? Mackenzie, um, it just depends on, it really honestly depends on my jet lag. If I can go downstairs and fall right asleep, then I can wake up early and life will be normal. But um, life has not been normal, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully soon we'll, we'll do it all. Okay, guys, I love you. Good night, sleep tight. Okay, bye.